hey there guys, this is Prash here from Single to Taken for another video. So I'm here again with the lovely Christine. Hello. Say hi to all the lovely men out there. Hello lovely men out there. Yeah, so you are amazing <laughs> as you are. And be yourself because they say that everyone's taken, isn't mm -hmm. it? Right, so slightly different format. So I haven't gone out and interviewed the ladies, but I've got lovely Christine on the show. So we've had a subscriber send a question in and here we go. Every time when I approach girls and ask them for their number, they say, I don't have a phone. I don't give my number to strangers. You will take my number next time when we meet or let me take yours. What can I do to make sure I get a girl's number? Mm. Great question and thank you so much for sending that over. So it's all to do with your intention behind it because when you're talking to someone, you have to come from a place that you're having fun rather than excuse me, putting the number as the prize. Because if you're putting the number as the prize, mm. like, because everything is to do with what place it's coming from, isn't it? If you're coming from there with the place that you want to get the number as a prize, then she's going to feel that, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas if you make the number a byproduct mm. of creating a deep connection, then things are much better, isn't it? Yeah. Give us an example. So say, for example, guy me to go at mm -hmm. an event. Now say that he wasn't looking for someone he was just there go to go to the event but they he finds someone he speaks to them and they connect over something they bond over something mm. because they experience something then because those two people are connecting very well the number is a result of those two connecting to other rather than going to someone thinking oh i need to get a number mm. so it's about being process orientated rather than results orientated mm, i like it that's a very 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 good point it does come across as a gives across a, a, a different energy and it makes it'll make the woman sound like oh he wants my number he doesn't need my number yeah you know he's not I, i'll be able to sense that it's not a big deal for him like he's interested in me but he's not like i want your number and then yay yeah, tick the box so it's a lot more fluid a lot more natural yeah and i think mm. when you actually go with that intention that mindset it plays a big difference in your body language and mm. eternality and where it's coming from yeah because you can sense it when a guy just wants your number and isn't genuinely interested mm -hmm. in you because it's about making genuine connections that's what dale carnegie says in his book how to win friends and influence people that you have to take a genuine mm. interest in that person yeah and when you take in that genuine interest and make that a priority that you're coming for a place of curiosity you want to get to know the person then the number itself like i said it's a byproduct rather than to try and get something from yeah, someone yeah yeah i completely get that and and following through from that when you are curious about someone it means you're going to find out about them. You're going to be in the conversation talking more about them than about you, which is a key way of getting a woman's number. Find out about them. Let them speak. See if there's something in there that you have in common. And then maybe say, hey, let's talk about this topic more. Let's swap numbers and we can explore X, Y, and Z. Or say, for example, you might find out she needs help with something. Mm -hmm. Say, oh, I can help you with that. Or I know someone. Let's, let's swap numbers and we'll get, we'll get connected. That's another way of finding something in common Swap, and then they have more of a motivation to give you their number and you can use that as a a first step to getting to know them a bit more intimately as well and building something so rather than that saying okay okay we just spoke for two minutes about you know nothing mainly important let me have your number the woman might be like well, i don't know if i really want to give it to you and give you those excuses of oh you can have my number another time or let me have your number you could say, oh, you can find out more about them, get really genuinely curious, like you said, and then actually swap numbers from something that you've heard that you know you could probably help her with, or maybe you both get excited on a specific topic and you both want to speak further about it. Something, a good reason why you both win, to swap numbers. Yeah, I think another thing is that when asking for it, maybe some women aren't giving it to him because he doesn't feel comfortable asking for it. So it's coming from a very unsure place because you know the law mm. of state transference, what you feel someone else feels. So if they, if he's going there thinking, oh, is he going to give it or not give it? And that's going to make her feel mm. uncomfortable. Mm. So he needs to be confident that he's yeah. asking for it. I like that. What did you call it? Energy. Law of, law of state transference. Law so what you feel, the other person feels. Basically what you, emotions are contagious. What you feel, someone else feels like it rubs off. Definitely, definitely. Think about it. When you've listened to someone and you felt inspired, well, they sound inspiring, it's because, and then you started feeling inspiring, it's because their energy is coming off as, you know, really, really positive, really inspiring, so then that rubs off on you. Yeah. So that makes sense. So that way, if they're more positive and more happy and not 
so uncertain and uncomfortable she's more likely to give it mm. but you are still going to get people that are going to give no film so this isn't a rejection proof method that's going to help you to get numbers but it will raise that bar a little bit slightly i think another thing as well is that because when you meet someone there's always this me versus you frame imagine if you can just make it we so in conversation if for example say she likes white hot chocolate for mm -hmm. example or say she likes bubble tea mm -hmm. instead of saying i'd like to take you out let us do that so already it's that resuming familiarity um oh, categorization yeah, yeah. so you're already putting that oh you two are already friends and that you're already doing mm -hmm. it do you get what i mean yeah let's do it together let's so it makes the person the woman feel safe yeah. feels like you've got something in common feel like you're building really building a connection and that reminds me of a trick as well because what you've done you've already said you you said that the end point is that you're already assuming that you have the relationship you're already yeah. assuming that you are already friends you're already this is it we're friends and she could actually instantly win on that and believe that herself because there's such certainty in that let's go do that together let's go have coffee let's make it make it a we make it a us. Yeah. it's like um, i was at doing a delivering a presentation and before that we had like a christmas party with this group of people that i was delivering presentations with and I was absolutely certain that one of them, when I saw him again the week after, that same person, I, I was certain that he was the one that we both went home together, we both spent the same journey together. So I went up to him, I said, oh, do you remember when that happened? And oh my gosh, it was so funny. And he was like, I don't remember that. But then I kept saying, yeah, but don't you remember? Oh my gosh, we went to X, Y, and Z, then this, this crazy thing happened. He goes, I don't remember. And I kept pushing, I was like, yeah, but come on, come on, look, think about it. We did this, this, and this, he goes, oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. And what happened was, he was right. He, I was speaking to the wrong person. He just looked like someone I knew <laughs> in the same group. Yeah. But he was right. It wasn't with him that I had that, that experience with. But because I kept persuaded him that it was him eventually he was like ah he pulled up on it he was like he wanted he won him won him over so i was also like oh my gosh i didn't even do it on purpose but i was like this is like mind playing but eventually he bought into it and then eventually i went back to him and said oh, actually you were right I got the wrong person but um but with that like you said in essence when you build that secu that safety net of well, we've, we've got a connection we're making friends the woman could actually believe that yeah we are friends so yeah quite smart. It's, uh, yeah, it's um, called assuming familiarity. Mm. So already you're setting that frame and setting the term that you two are together mm. rather than you're just two strangers. So it's you two in a bubble versus the world rather than you versus her. Mm, nice, I like That's it. That's what it is. And you need to lead the interaction as well. So after you finish the interaction, say, hey, I gotta go. But I really like, if you give a detailed compliment to this, but more personal, instead of saying, oh, I think you're nice, or I think you're gorgeous, mm. that's just too generic. Because he could have said that to about five other women True. beforehand. If he just say, if, if that's when he needs to ex exercise active listening. And if there's something about her unique, in detail mm. that she likes, though I just really like how your mind works in relation to entrepreneurship. Mm. Can you see how that's more bespoke? Yeah. Do you know what? I'd really like for us to continue this conversation. Whip your phone out. Put your number in there. You have to lead her doing it. Lead, exactly. That's powerful. There's yeah. no room for yes or no. Yeah. Put your number in. You've just given her a great compliment yeah. and you've used evidence. It's not just a random, in coaching work, because I'm a coach, we call that evidence-based feedback. I'm sure you're yeah. probably familiar with that. He's given evidence. I really like the way you spoke about entrepreneurship. I love how analytical you were in this area and that area. I really want to talk further onto that. Like you said, put your number in there. Let's continue this conversation. I might, it's hard for me to say no. Yeah. I'm just going to be like, okay. Because yeah. you're giving me an instruction. People yeah. respond to instructions. And it's genuine. It has to be genuine. And women want to be asked out. You've got to make it easier for them. Mm. We want to be led. We do. You like being led, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Someone yeah. that yeah. Knows, the what, dance. knows what they want and takes a lead to get what they want out exactly. of life. Exactly. Yeah. Any more words of wisdom we can give to this guy for... Um, so like I said, numbers? like you said, just just... Be confident, be genuinely interested in the woman that you're speaking yeah. to. Pick out any things that jump out on you. Give them a reason to swap numbers. So yeah. if there's something that, that you both have in common, say, look, let's we both have this in common. Let's swap numbers and talk about it more. Or, oh, I can help you with that. Let's swap numbers. Or simply, I love to give them a compliment, like you said, and then say, look, let's, let's definitely swap numbers. Um, I think it's all about just being yourself and being genuinely interested in that woman, making her feel like you are listening to her yeah. um, and you're present with her and you're not just going to go and speak to five other girls after her. So you might not make, kind of make her feel like 
taking numbers is not something you usually do because sometimes I can tend to think anyways that oh if you're taking my number and you're meeting me somewhere public then I'm probably gonna feel like you're probably gonna ask someone else so if by doing these three or four different options that we just spoke about Succeeding. it's gonna make me feel like yeah. you've only asked me for my number today so. yeah so that's where active listening comes in mm. and also during the conversation say for example she likes dogs and you like dogs oh maybe one day we can go to check we can go to Battersea dogs home mm. you're just saying maybe so what you're doing is you're seeding certain mm. things in there so again it shows you're taking that genuine interest and you've listened to her as exactly. well so seeding those little things then we can say oh then we can get the dog I said you can take for, take it for a walk Monday I'll take it Tuesday we'll alternate but it's all role play what yeah. you're doing there so even though you said tongue-in-cheek imagining herself in Ed because women are quite emotional aren't they mm. and again that's what creates those sparks of attraction mm -hmm, exactly yeah and another thing as well is that there will be women that will give an excuse not to give out your number but don't be affected by that don't take it personally because there's probably something going on in here her life where having a man in her life isn't her priority mm -hmm, like exactly. you want to be with somebody but she's got other things going on in her life that you have nothing about so don't take it personally it is part of the process that you'll get rejected but just keep at it. Follow the steps of what we spoke about in terms mm -hmm. of what place it's coming from, what things you can do within your conversation and that will raise your chances. So yeah. Sounds good. Good luck with it. Let us know how it goes. Thanks and, for um, If you've got any other questions or comments, post them in the comments box below or send me an email. And she's a great confidence queen. She's one of my mentors mm -hmm. and she's kept me strong and helped me build Very up my sweet. confidence in various different ways of developing my business. Even get me on this channel. <laughs> I'm procrastinating for doing all this, but now... Look at where You're I am You're on fire. That's it. So if you have good people around you that will support you, then you can be the best version of yourself. Definitely. Anyways, thumbs up if you um, like this channel. Share with any one of your friends. Subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. See you. Toodle-doo.